We really believe that 5G is a platform for innovation. How has 5G impacted the region's economy and society? What other technologies will further augment growth? We should start first saying that um, here in the region we had some of the first 5G networks globally. Um, we have some of the best performance and the network here was announced as the best network globally. So really we're enjoying fantastic mobile networks. This is in our every, everyday life in helping us in society. When you talk about the economy, that's very important because 5G is driver for dig industry digitalization. Many countries here in the region has vision to diversify for gas and oil, and 5G and digitalization will help them in this. When we talk about the new technology, we can highlight uh, augmented reality, virtual reality, metaverse. This is something which we already see, and it's going to be more and more. This device is going to become lighter, more powerful, and we're going to use them in everyday life also in industry, many industry-related use cases uh, related to XR, VR, AR devices. They're going to put tremendous requirements in the network, quality of the network, speed of the network, so network will need to support this development also. Telecom operators are now working on non-traditional technologies like Open RAN. How do you see this move? Openness is very important for us. We are defining openness together with resilience, sustainability and intelligence, one of the, the four cornerstones for future networks. If you talk about uh, Open RAN, we are very active in a um, standardization body for open architecture, which is called Oran Alliance. We was the biggest contributor in 2020 to Oran Alliance and the second biggest in 2021. If you look at the portfolio, we launched two products in our portfolio in open run space. One is Ericsson Intelligent Automation Platform, which is a very important component in Oran Alliance, in Oran Architecture, SMO, Service Management and Orchestration. So this is platform for AI, platform for automation, platform which uh, operators, third party and Ericsson can bring applications, so-called apps. Uh, then, of course, we also have our uh, cloud native virtualized radio access network called CloudRAN. How is Ericsson supporting hybrid multi-cloud strategy approaches of enterprises in the region? Tell us about CloudRAN. Our solution for both core network and radio access network are uh, agnostic when it comes to cloud infrastructure. So it doesn't matter, is it private cloud, is it uh, public cloud, it is hybrid cloud. It is designed to be agnostic by design. Refer to, to Cloud Run portfolio, I should say that we have both purpose build and Cloud Run. We believe that, um, of course, both of them has their advantages and that network should be built by taking advantages of each of this uh, portfolio. If you look at the Cloud Run, um, it has a great advantage when it comes flexibility to scale or scalability. For instance, if you have solution where you need to centralize number of this base station, radio station, then you want to implement on the same position some cloud, native, cloud core functions. There may be some application from third party. It really makes sense that it is built on cloud infrastructure, on some data center where you're going to deploy all of the functions. But on the other side, purpose built has by nature um, a better efficiency, better um, energy efficiency, smaller footprint, more compact integrated solution. If you have a deployment which does not require any, any additional function, doesn't require additional application, it is just to do what mobile broadband network is doing all the time, helping us to do video calls or, or voice calls, then purpose-built solution could be most, more optimal. Like also, we are focusing a lot on um, cooperation between those two uh, solutions. We think that in future networks, today's networks, we're going to have both of these solutions deployed, so it's very important to have seamless cooperation between them. We're engaging with a lot of customers here in Middle East uh, on our Cloud Run solution. We have this Open Run Lab in Canada where they can test and feel and see how it's performing. Uh, we announced a contract with two big operators in the US on deploying and knowing how advanced uh, operators here in the region, I would say rather soon than later, we're going to see some announcement also from the region. Tell us about your growth strategy for the next two years. Do you plan to develop a more extensive portfolio? Yes, let us start with the uh, radio access network. And here we are focusing toward our target of breaking energy curve. And uh, when I say breaking energy curve, I'm referring to that uh, every generation of mobile networks, 2G, 3G, 4G, uh, it's of course much better than previous, much better quality, much better speed, but it's also consuming more of energy. And we think this is not sustainable. And with 5G, we should 
of course provide much better network but with less energy consumption. We did a great job with standardization of 5G, so it is enabling us to, to go on that uh, track. But also you need hardware, software, holistic solution which going to support that arc. And that's what we are doing. Uh, we brought some fantastic products this year with 30-40% uh, energy, energy reduction and we're going to continue to over this target. This is important break energy coverage. It's important for us, it's important for our customers. Second which I want to mention is Vonage, our recent acquisition. I mean 5G is a flexible, 5G is a programmable network. It's designed to, su to support different use cases which is very important for, um, for industry use cases. But that um, uh, capabilities of 5G need to be exposed to the developers. And then some developer sitting in China or developer sitting in US or developer sitting in Saudi, when he is developing should be able to access these capabilities and when he develops some application for industry, that application should work across the world. This is exactly what we want to enable with our Vonage. So you're going to see a lot of innovations there, a lot of product which will come to support taking capabilities of 5G to industry and to, 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 to developers.